Hi there, welcome to Science Made Simple by Ms. Floss. For our second 9 weeks coverage, our unit is on energy transfer and conservation. We have discussed already the forms of energy and energy transformation, and for today's video, we'll be talking about potential and kinetic energy. For our standard 653A.2, I can develop and use models to exemplify the conservation of energy as it is transformed from kinetic to potential and vice versa. If you look at the verb of our standard, it is to develop and use models so you can exemplify or give an example of how energy is being conserved, especially the transformation of kinetic to potential and back to potential energy kinetic to potential, and potential to kinetic energy. For a cross-cutting concept, system and system models. So I have here a video link for potential and kinetic energy, which you can view from our tech book, Discovery Education. So you can always log in to your tech book, so you will be able to see a video about potential and kinetic energy using the link that I have shared in here. So here is a Venn diagram of comparing and contrasting kinetic and potential energy. Potential and kinetic are the same type of energy and it also shows how energy is being transformed from one to another. Whereas when you say potential, these are stored energy, these are the energy and objects that are not moving, and this potential energy increases based on position and height which are going to be showing to you in the examples in the following slides whereas kinetic energy this is the energy of motion and it increases as motion increases so look at this example the diagram shows two bowling balls of equal mass ball a is resting near the edge of a shelf whereas ball b is resting on the ground below so look at what is given it is presumed that they have equal mass the only difference is that the height from the ground so if you go back to our definition or characteristic of potential energy increases based on position and height so if you compare the height of these two balls we can say that a has more height than B. So therefore, if we are to describe potential energy in here, ball A has more potential energy based on its position because it has height as compared to B, which does not have height. So we can presume that B here has zero potential energy. Because if you look at the formula of getting potential energy, it is mass times height. So in this case, if height is zero, so any number multiplied to zero will give you zero. So therefore, the potential energy of B is zero. Whereas the kinetic energy of both are zero because both of them are not moving. So going back to the characteristic of kinetic energy, it is in increasing as motion increasing, but in this case, they are not moving. So therefore, kinetic energy is zero. Here's another example. Four identical cans are arranged on the shelves of the bookcase as shown below. Which can has the greatest potential energy? So, if this is now your bookcase, so this is the ground, where if you have this as zero height, so as you go up, for example, this will be 10 inches, 3 is 15 inches, 2, can 2 is... 20 inches height and can one is 25 inches height so if you were to compare the potential energy in here so four has the least potential energy as compared to three and three has less potential energy as compared to two and one and two has less potential energy as compared to one so if you look at which one has the most height or the potential energy based on position, so it is can number one, which has the highest or the greatest potential energy. Here we are to look at the pendulum 
moving from point 1 to 5. So the question is, which statement best describes the change in, every, in energy during motion of the pendulum? So you remember, when object reaches a maximum height, or objects reach the maximum height, like in position 1 and position 5, they will momentarily stop. So once they stop, they don't move. So we can say that kinetic energy in 1 and 5 is 0. While the potential energy is maximum because at position 1 and 5, they are now at its maximum height. But as the object moves down to 2, Potential energy now is being converted to kinetic. So therefore, potential energy now is, is decreasing as it moves to position number 2, wherein kinetic energy is starting to increase. But th as this position now, as this pendulum moves to another position on 3, height is 0, therefore, Potential is zero, whereas kinetic energy is maximum. So as this pendulum moves to the right in this position, kinetic energy now gradually decreases, whereas potential energy is increasing. And as it reaches position number five, kinetic energy is zero because the object momentarily stops, but the potential energy is maximum. So let us choose the best answer in here. Which statement best describes the change in, er in energy during motion of the pendulum? So let's see. The kinetic energy at point 3 increases as it moves to point 4, which I think is not correct because kinetic energy at point 3 is maximum, but as it moves to point 4, it gradually decreases. So, increases is not correct. So, A is not the correct answer. B. The potential energy at point 2 increases as it moves to point 4. But then if you notice, they are, they are at the same height. So, therefore, there's no increase in there, but they are actually equal. So, statement letter B is not correct. I wanted to go to letter D first. The potential energy at 1 is equal to the potential energy at 3, which is not true because you know at point 3, potential energy is 0. So they are not equal because at 1, potential energy is maximum. So maximum and 0 are not equal. So statement letter D is not correct. The kinetic energy at point 1 is equal to the potential energy at point 3. Kinetic energy at point 1 is 0. Potential energy at point 3 is 0. So therefore, this letter C is the correct answer. Kinetic energy at 1 is 0 because it momentarily stops. Whereas, potential energy at point 3 is 0 because it has no height. So therefore, this statement letter C is correct. Then we have here, describe the potential and kinetic energy in its position. So again, let us remember the definition or the characteristic of potential. It is maximum when it has its maximum position or height. So increases based on position and height and not moving. So going back here, describe the potential energy at position 1. So it's not moving, it's just standing there. So, and it has a height. So therefore, potential energy here is maximum, whereas kinetic energy is zero because it's just there, standing up there, no movement at all. But as it goes down, potential energy now decreases while kinetic energy gradually starts to increase because they are now converted as, it, as motion goes, as it moves down, potential energy increases while the height as it goes down is decreasing thereby potential energy is also decreasing so at point two potential energy gradually decreases whereas kinetic energy starts to increase at point three we can say it's 50 50 
50 potential and 50 kinetic but, but as it moves down to position number four kinetic energy is maximum whereas potential energy is zero because it has no more height or the height is zero another example at this position at ball a of ball a at one we can say that potential energy is maximum because of the height it takes or the position it has from the ground, whereas kinetic energy is zero because it's not moving yet. But as it goes down, this potential energy is being converted now to kinetic energy. As it reaches the ground, potential energy is zero while kinetic energy is maximum so that it can have more energy to move up. But as it moves up, Kinetic energy is gradually decreasing, while potential energy now is gradually increasing. And then if, you, if, if this object moves now to the top here, the topmost here, so we can say now that all of the kinetic energy which is full in here is now converted back to potential energy. And kinetic energy in this position now is zero because the object momentarily stops. Here's one common example. When you are doing this in the park or in your playground, if you are in this position A, that means the object momentarily stops or you yourself, you yourself momentarily stops. So that means that at position A, your potential energy is maximum while your kinetic energy is zero because you stop momentarily in here and you are at the maximum height from the ground. But as you move, as you go down, your potential energy now is gradually converted to kinetic energy. As you go down, your potential energy decreases and your kinetic energy increases. As you reach this position, potential will be less where your kinetic energy will be more. Alright? So those are illustrations of how potential and kinetic are being converted from one to another but during all those processes no energy was created nor destroyed it was just converted or transformed from one form to another so those are the illustrations or evidences about the law of conservation of energy along the process there's no energy that was destroyed nor created but they are just converted from one to another all right, so that will be all for today. Thank you for watching.